So how do you program it? And again, this is got to have a computer that's sending it to the POV. But there's two different types. There's one basically in system, and two is kind of a special fixture. Now an in-system programmable means like you go ahead and program this PLD and it's sitting inside the machine that you want it to do um, whatever, making uh, like a conveyor belt that makes um, rubber ducks. So that's your that's a machine that's making rubber ducks and what they they come out I don't know, like with a X mark. So that means it's wrong and they're bad. So you can go back and just hook your computer back up to that thing without removing it. It's in system. But now, uh, and then everything's well, and they're nice yellow rubber ducks. Um, but now, what happens if you've got a special fixture? That means what you got to do, you got to send your maintenance technician down there to remove the PLD and it's placed inside a special fixture where it's reprogrammed and put back in. And that's the type I've used before with the, uh, is it the Bachman, uh, Bachman system. You got to remove the PLD, reprogram it, and then put it back in. Okay? So, in system or kind of a special fixture program. So how does this whole thing differ from a fixed function? So I'm going to go fixed function over here and PLD over here. So basically, um, you know, fixed function. Uh, no need to even know the language. You don't even need to. You don't need to program. You need to program. You don't need to know the language or anything like that. It's cheap. PLDs got to know the language. Okay, sorry about that. Um, we, okay, where were we? Basically, uh, you got to know the language to program our PLD, and got to program it. Got to program it. So again, you might need a special fixer, or you can do it in system. Uh, basically, with a fixed function, all you got to do is you're going to design it. You're going to select the devices. Layout the PCB. That's a printed circuit board. It's that green thing with all the copper wiggly lines that look like ant trails on it. You gotta manufacture the PCB. You gotta install it. You gotta test it. Now, can anyone guess where the Achilles heel of this whole thing is? You know, if everything tests well, it's super fine and good to go. The problem is, if it fails the test, what do you got to do? You got to remanufacture the PCB. That's the killer right there. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but I actually did this in, uh, in high school. I can't believe they let us did it. Let let us do it. It was a, it seriously was printed circuit boards. I can draw it. The green board with like this layer of copper on one side. And then what you did was you took this special pen and blew, drew all these lines on it. And then, no shit, you put it into a uh, bath of acid. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. Um, and and it, would, uh, it would eat away the unexposed copper. So then what you get Is kind of this uh, this green printed circuit board with this copper thing that says Jim rules on it because you always put your name on these things it was fine but yeah and it was just all these nasty chemicals so anyways you don't want to you don't want to do that the manufacturing the PCB so I digress we're, we're back into reality land here um, PLDs so how do you do this whole thing this this big long steps right here including the, uh, the acid bath and, and all the names and stuff like that. 
All you gotta do to do the same thing for PLD, install the device. Just pick pick whichever device you want. Well, one that works. Write the program. Download it. To the PLD. Test it out. And what's sweet about this, if it fails the test, if it's good to go, yeah, you're good. But if it fails the test, rewrite the program. You don't have to do this whole manufacturing process. Okay, so that's just a little bit of introduction to programmable logic devices. And next we're going to, I think, discuss uh, VHDL or uh, new programming line. I think, oh, yeah, general concepts of programming. All right.